Uh, my name is uh, Kenneth Christopher Birch. Why acting? Well, well I, I, I enjoy acting. I've always enjoyed acting since I was at school back in the 70s in the old school. Uh, I've always enjoyed uh, drama, the drama school. And yeah, yeah, I just, I, just, I, I enjoy it thoroughly. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's a good positive feedback. Um, started doing modelling in the 80s and the modelling weren't getting as much as I'd like it to be and then someone me mentioned to me about supporting artist work and acting and, and I've been doing it ever since. I was spotted uh, in the 1972, I was 12, maybe 11, 12, 71, 72. I like a lot of vir virile all the aspects of it all, I like all of it, but I like reality. Reality. Reality, yeah, true stories, true events, bit of action, and uh, yeah, but, but, but I'm, I'm getting more, I was listening to Lenny Henry the other day on a Radio 4 programme, and he was uh, mentioning to the youth about Shakespeare, Shakespeare, so I'm getting more into the depth of acting, I, I Shakespeare. My favourite role was, uh, I like playing a uh, ninth, sorry, 2002 I think it was, we were playing, uh, me and a friend of mine went down for a guy, he's no longer with us now, Oscar, and we had an audition and a screen test for uh, Abel Seaman, and I think called Hornblower, and uh, it was playing Abel, 18th century Abel Seaman in the battle scenes in the, in this, this, in the sea uh, with her, uh, the ships and using the cannons and firing the cannons in the battle scenes. And that was one of the best roles that I have personally experienced. And uh, it was a, uh, a, uh, a runway where they put the Redford Grove 18th century hotspur on the runway so they could film it, all the scenes. And uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I loved the time, 18th century, I think it was 18, summer 1825, I think we were filming it in, with the period of the time and the costumes the cannons, the old gal, gal, you know, all of it about it, the actors, it was great, it was great, I thoroughly enjoyed it. My dream project, uh, my dream project, it would be uh, pro probably, uh, again, something in uh, period costume. I just did one called Jericho about the, the navvies building the railways in the 18th century last year. I enjoyed that. Anything was period costume, uh, I've gone right back to Tudor time, Elizabethan time, uh, but I, I've always liked history as a kid. So my ideal project would be something in, 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 in you know Victorian, uh, Tudor, uh, Greeks, any, any, any Egyptian, anything in time, anything going back in that time, because you actually feel when you're on set with the props and the costume, you feel as though you're there in that time because they do everything they can to get everything right, so you're actually there in that time, what we're talking about. At the moment, I'm currently working on, uh, I'm doing like sort of uh, uh, a live modeling work for an artist. I, I do that and uh, that's, that's good money. I can go to universities, schools, colleges, or private artists in their own studios. I'm doing that at the moment, waiting for my next gig with me, most of my agents told me that he's got quite a few period costumes coming, i.e. Victoria. They made a uh, programme on Victoria last year and that's going to come out again, which I did a day on it, which I'd like to do more. Uh, Peaky Blinders, Peaky Blinders were in the 1920s, they're going to do that again, I know about gangsters in Birmingham. So I'm, I'm looking forward to one of those in the not too distant near future. Jack Nicholson sometimes, people remind me Jack Nicholson, he's Johnny, or uh, Bruce Willis. I have, I have different attributes, different look like different people in different times. But uh, probably my me, me favourite actor's uh, Marlon Brando. Right. Yeah, yeah, he, he, he uh, with, uh, on the waterfront, and then over a period of time to God, God, the Godfather. He, he, he's just, uh, he's a very, very good actor, and, and he adjusts himself. The best piece of advice I've been given is to enjoy, there's a guy, an actor called Colin Baker, 
and I weren't in the business long and I went down to uh, somewhere in, in uh, Newport, it was Newport, Wales, South Wales, and I got on the famous five with him, Colin Baker, and Colin Baker's originally Rochdale lad originally, very good actor, and he said to me, I was with him on famous five for a week, maybe a week and a half, and he said to me, no, forget about it, always enjoy it, right where you are, theatre or films or TV, you always must enjoy it, Kelly, because if you're not enjoying it, you shouldn't, you shouldn't be in it. So that's probably one of the best bits of advice I've been given of Colin Baker. Always enjoy what you do. Yeah, it's a, it's a big difference. It's a bit a big difference. Uh, Derek Jacobi told me to get into more stage and more theatre. He came up to me and said, be an awful shame, darling, you didn't get any proper theatrical training. I weren't really into theatre. But like I said, I listened to Lenny Henry, getting on the, the Lowry, the Birmingham Royal Ballet, the English National Ballet. It's a different feeling about it because it's a live, a live performance in front of a live audience and you get an instant feedback. Where on a telly or a camera like this or a screen, you're not getting it the same. The, uh, the good moments make up for the not so good moments. It's either famine or feast. Yeah. When it's good, it really is good. I it's the the works good money and the food's excellent food because you dream what the producer is, dream what the director is, and the cameramen and the crewmen. And uh, like I say, when it's good, it really is good. But when it's not so good, it's jambussy time. Yeah, it's yeah. either feast or famine. Yeah. It's either I or.